Brutus. I told him, I said, well, as I indicated to you previously, these people have pending disciplinary matters. I told him, I said, Mr. President, in the case of Karimbash, Karimbash has a matter that he took the police of his commission before the court. The next thing I want to tell you all, when that a big robbery, when it was the mom, it lost them goal, right? Mr. Caesar and Azadine, they me working for it together. I know who was moving around with them too. Mark Richmond. Then the man fly off and handle how long this matter gonna be pending and he raising his voice and he ranting and he thing I'll try to explain to him. He's not listening. I told him the rules, I explained again to him the rules. People with pending disciplinary matters cannot be considered for promotion until the matter the matters are, are, are concluded. Right, don't ask why you're talking this now. Or why you choose now for talk this. I can tell you all why. Right? The reason why I choose now for talk this. I've been holding it to night time and people telling me don't do this, don't do no. I get a lot of victimization in the police force. Listen to this. Next day after the night with the um, call from the president on the 23rd, the next day, Ropes and the Minister of Affairs communicated to RP. He wanted people charged. Among the, those persons charged were several persons who were shortlisted for promotion, including the late Edmund Cooper, um, Azor, and, and several other persons. Now, Mr. Caesar. You sue me, right? You don't have to sue me again. You understand? You will have to sue me again. And I maintain that, look, we were not going to be um, blackmailed into promoting people. People took us to court. And it's not going to work like that. And but all the things you do to me, the second week I go for leave, Mr. Caesar put, inspect, uh, put Mr. Bacchus for calling and tell me I must go and last me for I am. I tell Mr. Bacchus, me life. I got threats for me life. I can't last just for I am and so on. He said, well, make contact with Mr. Caesar. When he hung up the phone shortly after, Inspector Garnett called me and tell me that I must go and last you for I am at TSU. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. As I've said repeatedly, this discipline can be a bad thing. Because I'm a disciplined person, I did not want to refuse to um, call the president. So I reluctantly um, went to a quiet place in my home and I called the president on my cell phone. I called him on my cell phone to his cell phone. He told me that he was coming back from a meeting on the East Coast and we had a little brief, brief chit chat. He told me that. Then he moved straight to the thing and asked about promotion, the specific name. He asked about Karimbash, he asked about Brutus. I told him, I said, well, as I indicated to you previously, these people have pending disciplinary matters. I told him, I said, Mr. President, in the case of Karimbash, Karimbash has a matter that he took the police of his commission before the court because um, disciplinary uh, proceedings were initiated against him and he challenged it, he went to the court. The matter is, the matter is still pending before the high court. So how can we consider him for promotion this time. The man fly off and handle how long this matter gonna be pending and he raising his voice and he ranting and he thing I'll try to explain to him. He's not listening. I told him the rules, I explained again to him the rules. People with pending disciplinary matters cannot be considered for promotion until the matter the matters are, are, are concluded. All right, so done. No matter that, that call ended abruptly. The very next day, the 24th of December 2020. Follow me here carefully. Very next day, Minister of Roman Serves, Robson Ben, communicated to the person who was carrying out the duties of the Commissioner Nigel Appy that he wanted several officers charged with several offenses. Listen to this. Next day, after the night with the um, call from the President on the 23rd, the next day, Robson Ben, the Minister of Affairs, communicated to Appy he wanted people charged. Among the, those persons charged, were several persons who were shortlisted for promotion, including the late Edmund Cooper, um, Azor, and, and several other persons. And when they sent the list to the police service commission, I have a copy to the list. All the matters that they were talking about were matters related to election thing. For example, in the case of um, Cooper, they said he should be charged for their election of duty because he was the commander of Region 5, when they had the demonstration, the road with the Henry boys killing, and they felt that he did not do enough to quell that um, disturbance. 
In the case of Azor, listen to this carefully, they said among other things that Azor assaulted uh, diplomats, assaulted diplomats at the Ashman building in Atfield Street, which was the, I think, continent headquarters for the um, Region 4 June election. He, he assaulted. They accused ranks at the immigration department of trafficking in person. As a whole set of things I did. And it was clear that they were doing that to prevent these persons from being promoted. That is what they were doing. And let me make this point. That was on the 24th of December, 2020. Until today, until today, today is the 25th day of March, 2024. Nothing else has happened. That is what they wanted to do. But when we met with, at the commission, we saw through that. We saw through that and we said, look, we are not gonna, we're going to ignore that letter. We're going to ignore that because by then they had sent it to the Police Service Commission. And there was a lot of irregularity because the person who sent it to the Police Commission in his own um, right, in his own right, was Brutus, senior superintendent at the time, Brutus, the admin man. And that was highly regular because he can't write directly to the Police Service Commission. The police of the person who used to write to the Police Service Commission, a constitutional body, is the commissioner, the person who cannot the function of commissioner. And even if the admin man, is to write. He has to write on behalf of the commissioner. So we, we discussed it and we ignored it. And we continued with the shortlist. And then on the 34th, I think it might have been the 30th, I'm not sure, we were finalizing the list. They are the last part of finalizing the list. When we got word from the um, commission's lawyer that the matter, Brutus, and these people, uh, it was joined. He, it, the matter was filed by Brutus to challenge this promotion that was not made, mind you, not made, challenge it. He was joined by um, Stanley, Sheikh Mossad, Bacchus, Prem Narain, uh, and I said, Shavan Jupiter, they joined him. And the Chief Justice um, issued an order for the status quo in the force to remain. That is what you said. So when the lawyer came and told us that, we asked, what does that mean? Because she didn't use the word injunction, she said status quo. So I said, what do I mean? She said, well, it means that no promotion can be made until the chief justice determines this matter. So I said, all right, fine. So we aborted the process as law abiding people and we wait. Right? So that is what stopped the promotion from being made on the 31st of December, 2020. Then um, the matter came up before the chief justice in January, 2021. The attorney general appeared. And the Attorney General told the and Attorney General Anil Nandlal, and he told the Chief Justice that he wants some time to speak to the parties. In other words, he wanted to speak to the ranks who challenged the Service Commission uh, and the Commission to resolve the matter. That is what he said, to come to some compromise on the, the, with this matter. All right, so an adjournment was granted. We had two meetings. I remember I attended both meetings virtually because I was half, halfway around the world. And I maintain that, look, we were not going to be um, blackmailed into promoting people. People took us to court. And it's not going to work like that. And I made it clear that if you want any meaningful discussion, the matter before the court should be redrawn, and then we can sit and um, discuss. No, the America will say the nice, and they didn't want that. By the time we met the second time, some of the Bronx who were named on this thing by Europe's men had Mr. Todd. Mr. Dexter Todd representing their interest in this matter. So that did not go any place. So the matter proceeded in court um, to be ventilated in court. This is in January, February, I'm talking about where the Attorney General wanted to um, add some time to speak to the parties, January 2021. All right. The next significant thing then is that in May, May, the Chief Justice was set to um, pres um, preside over the matter sometime around the 20th or I can't remember the exact date but not the 20th sometime in that last week around the last week in May 2021 on the 19th of May 2021 Mr. Conway who is my uh, colleague on this program Mr. Whitaker Mr. George Fraser and Mr. Mark Gilbert. We were all part of a team that the commissioner, Mr. Leslie James, asked to review the police force standing order. 
So on the 19th of May 2021, Conway and the others were arrested because they claim that um, we were paid, we were given us the, the money that we received for reviewing the standing order amounted to fraud. $10,056,000 among the five of us. If they say it amounted to fraud, they were arrested. And to say, when we were invited to do this review, we agreed. Nothing about money was mentioned. But later, um, they came and told us, Andrews Jr. was the man in charge of the uh, special project unit, came to tell us that the police force had made, had made a decision that we were going to be given a stipend for the days that we reviewed the standing order. We had agreed on two days a week. Two days a week, and we were going to give, be given a stipend for those um, two days. And we agreed. So they were arrested. I was to be arrested the same day. Let me tell you this. Same 19th of May. Soku, headed by um, Krishnath Ramana. They traveled to Cherry Jagan International Airport because I was expected to arrive in Guyana at that time. At that time, I had finished working somewhere in the Caribbean and I had gone to the U.S. to spend a few days with my family, then to come to Guyana. They turn up on the 19th of May to arrest me when I arrive in Guyana. Well, I get more contact than them, so I did not arrive. I did not arrive on that day. The night of the 19th of May, 2021, a reporter, a female reporter, called me to tell, find out, um, she said basically I did not arrive this day when I was gonna arrive. And I did what I was trained to do. I threw out the feeler. And I said, well, look, I'm making an arrangement to arrive the next day. And the very night on social media, it was stated that Slow did not arrive on the 19th, but he was making arrangement to arrive. And I, I only spoke to one person about that. One person. But I did not arrive then. I did not bother to come there. And another significant thing, let me tell you all about this conspiracy they're talking about. The 19th of May is when Conway was arrested and the Prime Minister Mark Phillips wrote to me and Conway the same 19th of May 2021 what they call a show cause letter for us to show cause why you should not advise the president to have us removed or are suspended from the police service commission because of this charge that was filed against us listen to this carefully this charge filed on the afternoon of the 19th of May 2021 and the prime minister was so efficient that on the very day, the 19th of May, 2021, he can write to us, Mr. Conway and myself, for us to show cause why we should not, he should not advise the president to have us suspended from the police service commission. I say that that was a conspiracy. And that was even before the persons appeared, the persons who were in Guyana appeared in court. Because they appeared in court on the 20th of May, the following day. A conspiracy all the way from the top all the way from the top allegations of conspiracy conspiracy to oppress conspiracy to direct power in a way that it should not flow conspiracy to promote persons in a way that they should not be promoted allegedly allegations going all the way to the top of the country wow what's going on in guyana we're hearing this directly from the top cop, none other than Mr. Paul Slow. Paul Slow exposing them and letting the whole world know the corruption that's going on, allegedly, in the Guyana policing force. Allegedly, the corruption is so deep that persons are being directed, directed how persons should move up in the force. Now, we know when them things start happen, it's going to trickle down. It's going to trickle down from the top level all the way down to the ground, all the way down to the police on the force, all the way down to the police, them that's now coming in the force, allegedly. And we hope that is not so. We hope that the persons that are now coming in and their ranks that are not corrupted, we know they got good ranks throughout the force. We know there's no way that we can make a hasty generalization and put all of these persons in the same basket. We know that they must be a counteracting force. We know that there must be a true Guyanese, a true Guyanese policing force. We know that there must be that. So 
those are the ones those are the ones that we're talking about when we're talking about the real cops but right now we're dealing with the ones that are making the ground corrupt because when the cops are the top corrupt the people them on the street gonna look and say but wait watch all them top cop going on them top cop in big big police up in the big high rank and they doing this and they doing that we know we want to talk about, hey, they can't tell me nothing look at what they going on with you understand this whole the chain of thought allegedly might flow and this how the corruption just trickle down to the whole country allegedly how could police be charged how could police be harassed and punished allegedly for doing activities that come within their list of duties for doing things that come within them serving the nation let me hear what else going on let me hear directly from Dion Bascom. Let me hear what more you got to tell me about what's going on in this paper shards case and what's going on between he and Top Cop Caesar. Because y'all hear what's going on with Top Cop Caesar. Even the president come out and confirm it. Even the vice president come out in his last press conference as well and speak on this and say, hey, you know what? We can confirm that Top Cop Caesar was arrested, incosted, whatever word they use right there, but he was detained and questioned. And he was questioned about what? We don't know. But we can hear directly from the Ambascom about where he got to tell me right now. The next thing I want to tell y'all, when that a big robbery, when it was the mom, it lost them goal, right? Mr. Caesar and Azadine, they me working for it together. I know who was moving around with them too. Mark Richmond. Mark Richmond was moving with them when they were doing an investigation. Y'all stop playing the car blind. Right? Y'all didn't hear your voice when they find him when he was talking. So don't think that I come here for life. And I want to tell y'all uh, so don't feel like talking. No, don't ask. Don't ask why I'm talking this now. I'm going to explain everything to you at the time. Right? Don't ask why I'm talking this now. Or I choose now for talk this. I can tell y'all why. Right? The reason why I choose now for talk this, I've been holding it in my time. And people telling me, don't do this, don't do that. I get a lot of victimization in the police force. Now, Mr. Caesar, you sue me. Right? You don't have to sue me again. You understand? You will have to sue me again. Because I know a lot of things about you. A lot of things. Remember, I work with you. You use me. I see little black boy, you stack and say, so I'm going to go with and locate some places. We got the money rate coming up. And I just go on and do it. And when we go, we be successful. And I've been doing it from since it was Sergeant Season Party to Inspector Season Party and then to ASP Season Party. I know I never know in between what party was me. And I never go up on the police square and shake nobody on and get no money. I never get nothing, but I wouldn't up all the time with all the things y'all do to me. You understand? She's ready. Stay ready. Mister. The ultimate male supplement. Men's total wellness formula. Packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. With all the things y'all do to me. The second week I go for leave, Mr. Caesar put inspect uh, put Mr. Bacchus for calling and tell me I'm going to lash me firearm. I tell Mr. Bacchus, my life, I got threats on my life. I can't let this firearm and so on. He said, well, make contact with Mr. Caesar. When he hung up the phone shortly after, Inspector Garnett called me and tell me that I was going to let you firearm at TSU. Instructions that they going to let you firearm. Now, because I, I risked my life for the police force, and because I go up and leave, I had to go and let me firearm. I went and I let it. I applied for a firearm two years ago, and I never gave it. I want to straighten out certain things, though. After I apply for the firearm and then and, and then do nothing, me and Sergeant O'Brien, he tell me um the commissioner of police going away. And then we go and talk to him, see if we can sign with him, because everything done do fit. I just see you approve it, Mr. P. Right? He tell me to go and see. And we went over there and the secretary tell me that he and me come back next week. We left when we went downstairs. And the um the driver to want to tell Sergeant O'Brien that the commissioner coming down. 
530. Let me go back over 550, we could see. The sergeant, they got, they got wrong since here. I didn't know why talking. I know, like, I could verify this. The sergeant tell me, let me go by to and see no man. Wait till when they come, he's going to and on and, 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 He said, no, the man is a man who was meet people. You understand? They could approach you. We left when we went over. And while we stand up downstairs, waiting, we see when we stop, he come downstairs. Mr. Akins walk downstairs. Mr. Akins, you're going to recall this. You walk downstairs and you see me, Sergeant O'Brien, the driver, the sentry, stand up. I went in the car now. O'Brien in the two sentry, we talking. And you turn and say, we all doing on here. Me, my y'all on here, man. Watch how you move from here and you start all up on me, chase me. Right? And this is how come when Mr. Blanham said, but thing with firearm, because when the thing out, think I told you, Mr. Caesar, start car wrong. O'Brien went over back to me playing cards. And he make a joke with Cosmo and tell you, he ended up telling Cosmo that we went to see the commissioner shot my chase me. This he said. And Cosmo ended up now going to tell Caesar when he think of the paper and he start jumping around. You know, he told to tell Caesar that me and Brian went over to the commissioner um, Friday. Right? And he, and he, and he called O'Brien and asked him, what you went to tell the commissioner? What you going to ask him to the commissioner for? O'Brien said me and he went to check for me like some gun. Right? He see O'Brien again. I said, Obi, tell me the truth, man. I mean, you good. Who you know, man, went over there for? Obi said, boss, for me, the man, went for the check for me, gun. Now, you been trying to put it in here that me and O'Brien went and tell Mr. Afi something about you, or tell Mr. Afi something about paper shots, or I get threat. Plus, the article didn't even have nothing properly inside, or no, no waiting evidence like the things I talk out. It does say that the, the um, person threatened me or whatsoever. You understand? She's ready. Stay ready. Mr. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. Is government aware of one of his senior police ranks um, on his way back from training in India being pulled in by the FBI in the United States of America? Yes, we, um, we saw that in the media 